Alrighty, this video is for anyone that might have questions on submitting cards for grading. This is my first submission and this is how I'm gonna package it. I feel like it's probably a pretty good plan and route to safely secure and check all the check marks to get your cards properly and safely, like I just mentioned, to your destination. I have eight cards here. I won't go through them. It was a first submission uh, for HGA is where these are going to be going for since the big name companies are down. But there's eight. They're not card savers. They are semi-rigid holders. They are in PCW. Card saver was the original, one of the original uh, manufacturers for these, why they get their name. But basically what I'm going to use, since I have eight, you can pretty much put 10 into a graded card sleeve so like these sleeves are made for slabs which I will be getting in return but basically take one of those sleeves how I've I guess I'll run quickly through how I've had these set up is I have obviously the card in a sleeve penny sleeve I have a little pull tab sticky so I can just slide out I'm not going to do it right now but um, if you need to Ease access you can pull that out sticky to the back of the penny sleeve and then obviously each card is placed into a semi-rigid so what I'm going to do is since the tops are up here the opening is right here this will basically kind of waterproof these cards so I'm going to put the tops in first and the reason why I'm going to be putting the tops in first as I now I have trouble doing this on camera. There we go. Is if water was to travel down, and also there's two there's two actions. If water was to get into this sealed area, let me get that on camera. This opening, it would have to travel all the way down before it gets into the cards. Another note: these cards aren't gonna slide. They shouldn't. There should be no reason. But if there was. This back end right here is also kind of keeping, if there was to be some problems in this area, from getting close to this edge. So that's the reason why, two reasons why I put them in, I guess, head first or opening first. But basically what I'm going to do is seal this plastic to help seal any residue. I don't know if this is recommended this is how I ship cards often, but it's basically just gonna give us a nice sealed eight card semi-rigid holder. And what I'm going to do next is place these, put them flat, on two thick, like double walled pieces of cardboard. And you can either painters tape these. I don't know whether they prefer that or just rubber bands. I'm gonna go the rubber band route. Um, regardless, this sleeve is going to assist in them not moving around. Basically what this cardboard is, is to just reduce the bending aspect even though they are going in a box you should always ship in a box and not a bubble mailer it's just to assist even furthermore but basically i mean this this is like a brick there's no way this is ever going to bend but just to assist in that process that's what these bands are for i'm going to put three i feel like that's a solid I mean, basically that's what I would think these cardboard, I was gonna do painter's tape. Painter's tape can also kind of like get a sealed, kind of compressed action. Uh, these bands are doing a little bit of that. I don't think these cards would move around too much. Um, I might, this one's gonna be a little, try to get some bands that were, I could double action this one actually, that might help, there we go. Um, the other thing, with this cardboard, you're not gonna be, there's, I left some gaps. You're not gonna be hitting the, 
cards at all. With this, you got kind of some distance there. This one's a little close. I can scoot the stack a little bit closer there. So, I feel pretty confident about that. This one's a little loose. I, don't, I might be able to. Yeah, now these are down pretty tight. This one, eh, not really necessary, but pretty feel feel pretty good about that. I mean, these I I can't move these cards or these cardboards. Oh, I actually have another one I found. I'm gonna be like, God, this this might make them mad, but since it's right here. I normally want to space these out just in case these cards were to shift around for any reason, but they're compressed pretty well. So I don't think there's any... I don't think I should put any more on. <laughs> Anyways, there we are. Let me get this other stuff out of the way. I just have a general, like, 32-ply or pound rated box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stack and I have two like long sheets of bubble wrap so basically I'm just going to get one in I'm not going to tape the bubble wrap and I'm going to just basically fold them up both ways so I'm going to go this route I'm going to go long and wide sorry for the camera this is just kind of not really sure what I'm protecting here, but I'm not going to tape them down. It's just kind of, I think, just added cushion. So this, these cards are, can kind of like have, have some, um, everything's in the way here. Okay. Not really quite sure what I was trying to say there, but just so there's some play, I guess, in case they're not just being jostled around. It'll assist with that. So, there we are. Nice little package. So this little brick is almost the size. Let me get that on screen, get a better side almost the size of this box which I believe is a nine by six by four it doesn't actually have but it's very close to the size of this and I'm gonna need some paper so let me grab some paper and be right back okay I'm gonna show inside the box here put some paper on the bottom some like basically packing paper, tissue paper, and then place kind of that loosely brick right here on top. And let me do the top layer. Okay, and there's the top layer with some additional tissue paper, packing paper. So those cards are not going to move around in this box. There's no way they're gonna move around. Secure, safe. I will tape, I don't think I need to show you how to tape a box, but I will tape one across and then all sides, just to prevent any further water getting in to this box, also on the bottom, of course. So. That's how I will be shipping cards out for grading. Maybe you should follow a similar process. I've shipped quite a few products out before and I feel like this is a pretty safe bet. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. If you liked the video, that like button works. Catch you on the next one. Take care.